ओम शांति वेलकम टू सेकेंड ऑफ नवम्बर्स गॉडली ब्लसिंग सीक्रेट्स इज राज टैक्टफुलनेस इज युक्ति एंड एम्बॉडीमेंट ऑफ रिमेम्बरेंस इज योग सो हियर इन दिस ब्यूटिफुल ब्लेसिंग सुप्रीम फादर इज सेंग दैट मे यू बी अ नोर ऑफ ऑल द सीक्रेट्स बी टैक्टफुल एंड एन एम्बॉडीमेंट ऑफ योगा एंड प्लीज द लॉर्ड with your honest heart so these three three things we get as a benefit when we please the lord with an honest heart so god says bab dada's titles are dilwala the conqueror of hearts and dilaram the comforter of hearts the lord is pleased with those who have honest hearts because the frequency is match right god's frequency in our hearts frequency not a physical heart but our feelings our emotions those who remember the father with the heart easily become the point former they especially become worthy of receiving the father's blessing and this is the condition to remember the father with the heart according to the time and with the power of truth their heads work in a yukti yukt manner according to time and with the power of truth how truthful are they to god father automatically their heads will work see the heart and the head alignment depends upon how much are we close to the creator so much so that our heads automatically at the right time they start working in a yukti yukt manner means tactfully and we can handle everything nicely and they automatically do everything accurately you have pleased god and so every thought word and action of yours are accurate if you have pleased god that's the condition such a soul becomes rajyukt that means knowing the secrets yukti yukt being tactful and yog yukt means always being connected with the lord the creator now these three powers or strengths come to us when we have the word and honest heart and we are remembering god father with a honest heart how do we do that see in devotion we generally have mantras we do jap tap enchantment and so many different things are there in the path of devotion they are done with the intellect now to bring the heart in there god says you have to first have a relationship with me you have to know me only then can you have a heartful conversation with me you can attach your feelings with me until unless you don't know that what do i do for the world how did i create the world when did i create this complete cycle of cycles infinite loops the other time you don't get this knowledge from me you can't love me for what i have created so to know him and we have to know him not through limitations of certain books certain different religious books but he is infinite in knowledge so his infinity can only be known through he himself the more we know him through our heart the more we become closer to him but we try to know him through our intellect we get more further away from him that's the law of knowing him to learn how do we do that is what we are learning on a daily basis cleansing our hearts and coming closer to god om shanti with this